Hi, um, welcome back to the another tutorial on uh, Jashaka. Uh, a while back I got a request for how to do green screening. Now I've covered green screening in a lot of my other tutorials, but not specifically green screening by itself, so I thought rather than keep on getting the same question and directing people to a sp certain point in a different tutorial, I'm just going to do a single tutorial on green screening. But before I do that, uh, what I do periodically is, I don't know why, I just Google Jashaka or Cine Effects, and uh, today I googled it, and this came up: Jashaka.com, Jashaka 3.0, Jashaka relaunched, estimated time remaining, 54 days, five hours, 39 minutes. So you're looking at about two months. So today is the 5th of December, so we're probably looking at start of February. These guys are saying they're going to relaunch Jashaka. Uh, if there's a click to a link to a download link. Uh, from what I can see, that is the old Jashaka at the moment. They haven't put the new Jashaka up yet. I've got a YouTube channel, so it's called Jashaka FX. I've already subscribed to them. As you can see, I'm already subscribed to them. Uh, they put up a couple of videos. Uh, I would encourage people to go and subscribe and show them my support because hopefully this means it sounds like something's coming out of it. I've tried to trace the owners of this website, and it seems like the same people who've always who's owned Jashaka since 2008. So it does seem a bit legit. They, they've got a Facebook page, <laughs> well, Facebook sign, but it doesn't actually link anywhere. And then they've got a Twitter. Uh, in fact, I actually joined Twitter just to follow them, just to see what would happen. So, yeah. Uh, I'd say worth it. If you've got a Twitter, follow them on Twitter. Subscribe to them. Show them my support. Hopefully, maybe this support will rear them on a bit more too launching it with a bigger fanfare and more amazingness so yeah just a little quick update that Jashaka it looks like there's actually going to be a brand new Jashaka and it's going to be early next year they're going to release it and uh, it's kind of blown myself away I have actually emailed them this email address up here doesn't work but I've contacted them via Twitter and YouTube and basically I'm just trying to find out what features there are at the moment one of the big features I really want is HD export. At the moment, inside of Jashaka, you can import HD videos as long as they're in an AVI format, but you can't export HDI resolution. Uh, I'd really love to do that because one of the big reasons I've not actually bought a HD camera so far is because I don't have the software to export it, as in Jashaka doesn't export it, so there was no point for me. But if it can, I'll probably be upgrading to a HD camera. Right, so now we get rid of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Shaka and I'm going to load up my clips. So I've got a green screen clip and just a random picture I took while I was on a weekend out somewhere. Uh, this green screen clip, uh, it's not anyone I know. Basically, there's a company called Hollywood Camera Work and they do like courses in visual effects. Uh, and what they also do is they offer free green screen plates in 1080p and 720p. You can use them however you want, as long as I think you don't make any money off them or you don't host them. I'm not sure entirely. But basically, yeah, you can use the clips any way you want and post the results anyway. Uh, but they do ask to, if possible, to link back to them. And I am linking back to them because it's the easiest way. Like, I was going to, for this original tutorial, I was going to make my own green screen clip. but And that's the reason it's been so long coming, because I just, to be honest, couldn't be bothered. The downside about these is that you have to know is that these are huge file sizes, huge, huge file sizes, but they, they have loads of things. So like match move testing. So you could test this with Voodoo and Blender and Jashaka to get to get a hang of match uh, moving. Um, if the new Jashaka has masking capabilities, I'll probably be downloading a lot of these files and then showing you how to do, for example, masking capabilities combined with uh, match moving to see how it goes. So I actually downloaded this one i think the reason i downloaded this one was because it's the smallest file size at 99 megabytes it's 1080p so uh pretty pretty pr it's still very big very very big but uh at 100 megs as i said it was one of the smallest file sizes there so that's the one i used uh da -da -da -da. so yeah check them out uh as I said, if probably if I'm guessing the courses are more like residential courses, so they're not really applicable to me because I'm in England. But um, definitely this w website is quite helpful if you want to try out some green screening. So I've downloaded this clip from there. Now the clips come as pictures, as picture files. But in Jashaka, if you've seen my stop motion tutorial, all you have to do is click on the first picture trial. So here it says HCW locked backdrop one. And that actually loads everything in sequence. 
uh, my computer is going to be running extremely slow because my computer is about six years old so it's only when HD was for consumers was really just coming out then and obviously just this version of Sharker isn't that optimized uh, is quite old as well and the fact that I've got a screen recording software running I don't think it's going to be working that well but without further ado let's get on to green screening so the first thing everyone always does they go to the Kia so we click on Kia now uh, I will change the color scheme to make it easier for you if it makes you happier right now I'll go to my key layer and I'm actually gonna drop on this basically your key layer is your top layer and then I'm gonna go to my base layer and I'm gonna drop on my background picture now I'm gonna go to CPU Kia click on this now as you notice as I come up here on the top left hand side over here you can see the color that I'm picking so if I pick there like that it's got rid of most of it Ooh, base layer and as you can see my base layers come out white it's not coming out the reason is my base layer is too high in a uh, in quality actually funnily enough but we see a major limitation now if we wanted to blend it in even with this white background there's very little we can do we can kind of mess around with the keys here a bit and do that but really it's not really working that well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat a bit we've got a key here which is a starting point so we're gonna go into animation now we're gonna click on add layer twice what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna change my world layer to the size of uh, 1080p I'm gonna have to zoom out a bit and then on the top layer I'm gonna add in my locked backdrop and as you can see it's that size what I'll do is I'll I don't know why it's come across a bit straight and then I'm going to close that now on my bottom layer I want to put this so I'm going to put it on as you can see it's come across white again the reason is is if you have a super high quality image a normal layer for some reason can't handle it in Shaka so you click on delete uh, the way I figured this out actually funny enough is I went into the Shaka source code and someone had put it as a comment in the Jashaka source code saying that what you actually need to do is create a matte layer and I'm going to put bring that down below our main layer and then if you put it onto that it can handle it what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically scale this down to the size of our layer and bring the transparency back up so we've got a layer on top and we want to put her inside this layer so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go we c we're going to add layer CPU effect chroma Cree CPU now what do we do we've got no picker in this unfortunately it's the animation module so we've got red green low and basically we can just move these around and try to get a feel for what's going on but really it's just a shot in the dark so the easiest thing to do is go back to the desktop go to the key module which you just keyed out if you go to axis this actually gives you your values you need so 15 146 15 I know it's a bit long-winded but actually it's quite it's actually the most effective way of doing it and it saves you quite a lot of time and then going back to the Kia and the axis 236 236 236 so I'm just changing that to 236 and there you go is actually virtually completely keyed out. Now all we've got to do is basically fine tune it so we could uh, da -da 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 -da. to cut out more green we just and it's about balancing between the two. Theoretically this would actually give you a uh, much more control I think if you're using something like more higher end software but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that really to be honest unfortunately. So I'm going to bring that up as much as I can. I'm going to I'll bring that down again. And as you can see it's and you lower that as well. what you find is is as you lower certain values 
you can lower others a bit more but that really looks like the maximum we can do with this that really looks like the maximum I can do here so uh, I'm going to soften it up a bit and we have some green screen of course we have this horrible tint around here and it, she does not fit in to what that says there so we're going to add in some color correction and this is basically where the animation module is why I would recommend you do any type of keying because you can add in all of these things you can add in your layer underneath and it's easy like in the effects module you can do chroma keying but you can't add in a layer underneath to add your chroma key on top of whereas here you can so we're going to go to layers with our main layers like on CPU effect and click on colorize and now the background is a bit bluey and a bit more desaturated than this so I'm going to Bring down the saturation a bit. I want to try and get rid of this green tint. So I'm going to increase my blue a bit. I'm going to try and get rid of that green a bit. Now, unfortunately, I'm actually not that good at color correcting, but you kind of get what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to basically. match it to the background in such a way do, 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 do. let's we we'll drop the red a bit that actually looks okay I think slightly decent uh, the green, I want to drop that completely. Oh, no. I'll just put that at zero. So we kind of got it. Uh, not a hundred percent perfect, but we do have something. I think this, to be honest, this is quite a hard thing to key out. And the fact is, we're using free piece of software here. So at the moment, it's a free piece of software that's five years old. So I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good, I think. As long as so, the basic rule of thumb with Shark really is that to have small little bits here, and you can kind of key out most of it. And as you can see, most of it was really easy to key out actually. And then to get the to slightly match what the background is like, if you look at what it is without the colorize or with the colorize, it's actually matching the background slightly and making it look like that. So it's okay, not the best, but certainly not the worst um you can do a lot worse with this so it's quite good in that respect um quite happy with that i'm just trying out a few things it, it, some of the things i'm just trying out right now i literally are just off the cuff i'm just checking but there you go a quick tutorial on how to make a green screen effect inside of Jashaka. As I said, uh, you'd, if you're doing it yourself, you'd probably anticipate the fact that you wouldn't want some of this backlighting on here. Um, so you'd set up your scene in a different way. You'd also spend a lot more time jigging around with this. You'd probably also colorize the background. Well, color just the background. So if you add CPU effect, wait for the computer to wake up my computer is well maybe it doesn't let me work okay I think my computer is just freezing up a bit really but 
Oh, a bit too red there. I can't actually remember the original feet thing I was using, but that looks decent enough to me, to be honest. Um, as I said, these fringes would just need a lot more work to be done on, and I reckon eventually you could get rid of them. And as I said, if you colour correct your background, you'd be able to get rid of them. I don't think I can do that right now because my computer's just used, probably just been smashed to the max with HD keying going on, HD special effects going on alongside. Uh, recording that all of that in HD as well but uh, I hope that helps uh, hope you kind of understand it so just to quickly go over what I did is literally I added them into the, uh, I added my top layer and my base layer into Jashaka into the Jashaka animation module added a chroma key to the layer that I wanted to chroma key out then I went to desktop went to Kia and I actually added the same layer that I wanted to key out into here. So you don't actually need to add the base layer at all, to be honest. And then on my key, I clicked on CPU key. I used the dropper tool to select the green. Once I selected the green, then I used the, I went to the axis. And the axis actually shows you the RGB values, the low and the high. And I used them, uh, moved them into the animation module in the chroma key section under controls RGB low and high and just add them into there then I just tweaked around with it a little bit to get a key which is that what it looks like and then I added a color correct to a color correct to help blend it in with the scene a bit more as you can see, that's all to do with artistic ability. I have virtually zero artistic ability, but I, I have a lot of technical ability, so I can figure out how to do things, but artistically, I'm not that gifted. But that's basically the simple way of doing it. It's a very quick and efficient method of doing it, to be honest. Actually, I find it not too bad, and you can fine-tune really well, uh, especially if you've got a really powerful PC behind you. It's really easy to do, and I would recommend you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I will try to help you as soon as best I can and as fast as I can. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.